John, no job done in Seaside. Just give us your thoughts on tonight's performance, please. Yeah, I think it was a strong performance. I think, um, you know, take the misunderstanding for the, their, fir their first goal. I think it was all us. We had most of the play, most of the pressure. Can't really remember them having too many attacks. Um, it was good to get some minutes into some of the boys, obviously, um, which was a real positive of the night. And um, overall, first half and second half, it was mo mostly all us, really. And um, we had some chances where we've got into the final third and our final pass or final cross let us, or final touch let us down a little bit but um, we were definitely the better team and we definitely deserve to win in the end you know we got a goal back second half with uh, Greeny's glancing header which I think came off somebody who went in the near post but in terms of overall chances and overall play we had the most of it and um, like I said we kept on going got the goal back uh, couldn't sneak another one before, before the 90th minute finished and um, it went to penalties and you know our keeper made two great saves to, to keep us keep us you know get us through to the next round after Frank missed his first penalty with a sloppy penalty so um, yeah so in, in terms of the whole night it's, there's loads of positives to take minutes into lads um, you know we didn't lose the game we drew the game and then we, we, we slotted some penalties away and our keeper made two great saves in, in the penalty shootout so uh, overall really pleasing. Our opposition tonight may have played a different brand of football than what we're normally used to. Is that something you anticipate before the game and did it benefit your prep preparations for today's match? Yeah, 100 percent I think um, you know, we talked to the boys before the game that, you know, we're playing with us under twenty threes and we'd probably be similar to whole under twenty threes like we played in pre season and that they'd like to play out from the back and play through the thirds and we could press them high up. I think we did that really well and we caught them off guard, sneaked the ball a few times and like I said Got into some good areas in the final third without probably creating too many chances. You know, like I said to you earlier, probably the final pass or final touch or final through ball just wasn't good enough. But um, you know, in, in overall terms of, of our pressing, it was very good, and we caught them off guard a, a few times. But Middlesbrough fair play to them; they carried on doing it. Uh, that's what they're taught in the academies. You know, to play off from the back and play through the thirds. Um, but we probably just had a little bit too much more physicality physicality than them and they're probably not sure throughout the game especially as the game wore on um, and um, yeah really pleased really pleased that we're through to the next round I'm sure the chairman's happy and Fred so uh, yeah good. Well we turn our attention to this Saturday's FA Cup fixture where we play well another decent opposition in Oxford just give us a few thoughts on what you might be expecting from them this weekend. Yeah well they're a good team that's for sure I've watched the game against Fylde at the weekend when they won 3-0 and they like to play some nice football, we've got some good players, so we need to be at our best. Um, we need to, for sure, play better than we did last Saturday, Saturday against Farsley, um, especially with the ball, because we might not see the ball for a long time, so when we when we get it, we need to keep it better than we did last Saturday. Um, but yeah, they're a good team. Um, you know, um, it's a cup competition, so anything can happen. It's at our place, which is good, so we'll have the crowd behind us. But we said to the players tonight, before the games, listen, you have to perform tonight, because after last Saturday's game, there's, um, there's probably quite a few shirts up for grabs, so um, really pleased with a lot of people's performances tonight. It's always difficult when you play in a, in a pitch where there's no like massive, massive atmosphere, so I thought the boys got themselves going really well. And now we concentrate on a, on a tough game on Saturday at home um, with the fans behind us. Anything's possible. We just need to be more consistent um, in our performance levels individually and as a team, and if we can do that, we can beat anybody.